Look at this parse. Woo! This is a great expansion to play Bard. Monk, Monk, Rogue, Bard. Top four. Actually, everybody in the top five was in my group. Welcome back, everyone. Six big reasons you want to play Bard in the 12th expansion for EverQuest, The Serpent Spine. Reason one, experience rate increase. So for all time lock progression servers, when they reach the 12th expansion, the Serpent Spine, experience rates get boosted up to the live servers. Pretty much almost the best in EverQuest. It is a huge upgrade. Makes AA grinding, level grinding that much more efficient. Reason two, resting regeneration bonus. So once TSS drops, resting regeneration starts to work. So once you're out of combat for enough time, you get a boosted regeneration rate. For me, I can go from empty to full in about 90 seconds for endurance and mana. The only thing is it does not show in your character window. Why is this huge? Nukes. Bards become crazy DPS with a mana nuke and endurance nuke. You can burn both resources. And with the resting regeneration bonus, you can be back up full real quick. Reason three, zone design. Many of the new Serpent Spine zones are really open like the Karanas were, but they have more mob density. They are great for soloing and small pickup groups. Kiters will love these zones. I really like to solo in a zone called the Steps. I just turn on Melody, auto attack, and walk away. None of these mobs here at the entrance are social, except the spiders, and they really don't hurt that much. I can easily keep 100% hit points. And then if I want to do AoE nuking, I can. Every 90 seconds, I can take out five mobs at a time. And the EXP ain't that bad. I may be earning an AA every, say, 15 minutes. Reason four? New spells. All the usual songs get their upgrade, like Mana Song, Charm, and Mez, but now there's some new ones. Casters are gonna really love bards, especially wizards and mages, because they have songs that can add extra damage directly to fire and cold nukes. They have a new mitigation damage buff that is great for everybody who gets hit, especially tanks. A new single target and vulnerability, there's a new resist line that gets added in Serpent Spine called Corruption. Bards have a buff to boost the resist stat and as well as cures for it. A new small hit point and mana heal. And lastly, the big one, a new five target AOE nuke that on the regular hit goes for about 5,000 damage. But when it critics, it goes for 15,000. On every raid target, I try to fully burn my mana bar using this. Reason 5, melee. Bards finally get to train for double attack at level 71. This makes it so they can swing a lot more, get a bit extra damage out, and they also have some boost from AAs and how high the critics can go. They do a bit more melee DPS now, but nothing that huge. And lastly, reason number 6 to play Bard, alternate advancements are huge in Serpent Spine. Bards finally get their second rank of Fading Memories, and it goes from using 12% of your mana pool to 6%. It is huge. It makes Fade a lot more usable, and also the level caps on how high it works gets boosted as well. Another AA lets Bards permanently twist five short songs instead of the usual four. And I'm actually able to do seven because the Celos, the Bard Seed song, and the damage mitigation buff last longer. AA-wise, there's a few new DPS debuffs that get added, like a reverse damage shield and a melee damage bonus. But the absolute biggest change AA-wise is called Boastful Bellow. It was an alternate advancement that Bards got in Planes of Power that uses Endurance. Is mainly used as a backup pull without breaking melody. But now it hits for 2,000 damage on landing and 15,000 on breaking. But the big thing is when it goes critical, 
it can go for 45,000 damage. It is huge. It is a pocket mana burn. So when you combine the mana dirge nuke I was talking about that can critic for 15k and you combine it with the endurance nuke of boastful bellow that can go for 45k, bards are now consistently top 10 DPS on all raids now. It is a huge change. Now, these abilities don't really keep up that well in time. I don't think so. So I don't want bards to get patched. Please no, they're not overpowered. But boy, do I love this expansion. This is one of my favorite expansions ever to play Bard. So thank you guys all for watching. I will see you in the next one.